Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain how to create a helical spring and how to create helical cuts using SOLIDWORKS tool. Helical cuts means we create threads on a pin or a bolt. How to create those features? For that, we need to use this curves option. Here you can see helix option. Just select that helix option. Select a plane. See, we need to get into the sketch. Select plane. I select top plane. Then we need to create a circle here with some dia. Like this. Then I apply one dimension. Size we need to give that represents the diameter of the spring. I enter 100 mm. Then exit this. Then now you need to set a pitch and revolution or height. See here you can see one pitch. See one revolution and the pitch here 100 mm. I reduce this to some 30 mm. Then I increase this revolution. See. Number of revolution. This is with number of revolution. And a pitch. If you reverse this. Then downside it. It creates a helix downside. If you reverse this upside. Then go for okay. You can see the curve here. This is only just a curve. To add some uh, size, uh, some dia, some thickness, uh, we need to go for uh, option swept boss. See, suppose if you want to mention the height, not number of revolution, mention the height. See, again, I click on that, select edit feature to edit again that curve. See, here we can, we have option pitch and revolution. No, I want a pitch and height, height and pitch height and revolution see height and revolution height and pitch i select now here total height i want 250 mm right click edit feature 250 mm and pitch i want 20 mm then go for ok like this we get a helical curve then to add some size say suppose if you want to create some 10 mm dia spring, then simply go for swept to boss. In swept to boss, if it is a cylindrical section, then simply select this circular profile. Then select that curve. Then see you can see with the 10 dia helical spring formed. You we can also increase this. I enter 25 mm. or I reduce to 20 mm then go for ok like this we need to create a helical spring see like this if you want if you want to create a not I don't want a circular section some other section uh, I delete this, right click delete a rectangular section then take a plane we need to create a rectangle so I have selected plane then select this curve and select a point at start then go for ok we can see the plane if we want a, a section other than circle then take a plane like this uh, place at the start point then do select on the plane sketch keep that in normal view then create I go for a rectangle centered rectangle Now. 
now we got a rectangle then same option swept boss keep this in sketch profile select that rectangle and the curve like this we get if you want a halo with some thickness then go for thin feature some 1 mm or 2 mm inside or outside we get a helical spring with a rectangular section like this see here in the same way helical cut say suppose if you want to create a thread on bolt for that I go for new file first create a bolt I select front plane I go to sketch I take half section small dimension this I go for 25 mm so that the dia will be 50 32 some 180 mm height I drag this up then I give this term this distance of some 6 mm or 10 mm head thickness so let it be total height of 190 It, it is 190 just give dimension from the axis to make that sketch fully defined from origin to here then exit see 25 radius then revolve we got a pin and to cut helical cut to create a threads on this surface go for curves select helix select this surface now no need to select plane just do select this surface go to normal view and create a circle see as it is a 50 dia we need to create also a 50 dia circle so that so that it forms exactly it coincides with that edge it is 50 then exit then we get a curve see like this reverse this reverse direction height and pitch height it is around 180 I give 150 I want a thread up to 150 then the pitch I give some 10 mm then go for ok now you can see a thread sorry curve on that cylindrical surface now to get a, to create a, a cylindrical helical cut a circular helical cut go for swept cut select this curve circular profile select this curve this is cut it cuts along that path then reduce its size dia I give 5 mm dia 7 mm then go for ok like this we need to create a cut to edit again right click edit feature I enter 5 mm then go for ok you can see circular cut like this 
if you want other shape uh like a, a rectangular cut not cylindrical rectangular or triangular then we need to take again a plane i delete this reference geometry select plane select that curve a start point or end point then go for okay select this plane now go to sketch normal view create a profile so i took profile like this some 8 mm eight mm exit then go for swept cut select this profile first you need to select that profile this profile and path this go then we get like tri triangular cut so like this uh, we need to use this uh, helical cut we need to use this uh, helix option for uh, helical cut and for creating helical springs thanks for watching this video for more videos uh, share and subscribe imperial care system